What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tony Bellew. Get this. Tony Bellew names the most avoided fighter in boxing, okay? And... He has went on to say the heavyweight division is booming once again with Anthony Joshua in the form and the first undisputed heavyweight clash is taking place. OK, um, and he said, however, one man <clears throat> who has been forgotten of as of late is Michael Hunter, OK, who has lost to Usyk as a cruiserweight back in 2017 and has been a heavyweight ever since drawing with Alexander Povetkin and defeating fighters such as Mar Martin Bacali and Sergei Kuzmin, okay? Although recent, acti recent inactivity has seen the bounty drop out of the rankings with all four of the sanctioned bodies, which was partly due to scheduling opponents Huey Fury twice pulling out of a fight with the American. On social media, Tony Bellew wished Hunter good luck on his new announced upcoming fight before labeling him the most avoided fighter, okay? And he said, best luck, best of luck champ, you deserve a break, okay? So Hunter is taking on Sulinskov, okay? So I know nothing of Sulinskov, so I'm gonna do my homework on him. Then you got uh, Jololov versus Smakizi, which I know both of them. And uh, Jololov, of course, is the favorite. Then we have Dusmatov versus Carmona. So, um... We have a lot of research to do with these two, but let me counterpunch on what Tony Bellew has claimed. Is Michael Hunter one of the most avoided fighters? Yes, he is. He is. He is because fighters look at Michael Hunter. He's been once beating by, beaten by Alexander Usyk and why he was an amateur in Chicago. Because I remember when that fight happened, Alexander Usyk traveled over here to fight Michael Hunter, another undefeated fighter. And listen, for about 10 rounds, maybe nine or 10 rounds, Alexander Usyk versus Michael Hunter went back and forth, bro. And it was, it was skill for skill. It, you could tell the different styles, you know, Usyk, you know, with the, with the constant pawing jab and Michael Hunter with the slick countering and pull counters, you know what I mean? that he was showing and you was showing his stuff and Usyk was showing his stuff. And those guys were going back and forth and you and you seen rounds where, hey, uh, Michael Hunter beat Alexander Usyk this round. You know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of these things took place in this fight until, until the very end, okay? Now, he lost that fight, uh, but understand Michael Hunter is, here's the thing. He's too good for his own good. See, Michael, he's taking those bounties and a lot of people don't want to get found. <laughs> I think he needs to be a, become a better bounty hunter because these guys are running from him. They are. Tony's right. I agree with that because you look at everyone. Look at the heavyweight landscape. You have, uh, you got Philip Bergovic. You have um, Mark Madoff. You have Danny Dubois. You have, of course, AJ and Tyson Fury and Usyk. They're fighting. You also have um, Philip Hergovic. I already said that. Um, you have guys like Jarrell Miller. Then you have like Jared, Jared Anderson. You know, uh, who else? You got you got Frank Sanchez there. You know, he's there. And you're looking at all of these guys are waiting for opportunities. Of course, you got I get Caballel, Okay. Um, um, Otto Eileen, you know, these guys, you know, Huey Fury, there's a reason Huey pulled out twice. Oh yeah. It wasn't for illness both times, bro. Okay. Let's not get it twisted. They knew, wait a minute, fighting someone like Huey Fury. Uh, I mean, sorry, Huey Fury fighting someone like Michael Hunter is a job because they know Michael Hunter can box and he can fight. And yeah, he can sit down on his punches. This guy's a heavyweight. Okay. Let's stop acting. And, and th this is the thing about heavyweights. Everyone, everyone has this perception of like, oh man, this guy can punch so hard. So this other guy that don't punch as hard or is not known to punch that hard can't have a chance. That's absolute bollocks, people. Absolutely. Because Michael Hunter can put you down just like he hurt Alexander Povetkin. Did he do it like AJ? No, he didn't need to because he ain't AJ. He's Michael Hunter, okay? Hunting. 
for another fight. And I'm glad he got another fight, by the way, April 14th, which is a great time. OK, so that's next weekend, you know. But, yeah, he is being avoided because he's too good for his own good because beating him and he's not in the rankings. That's not really pushing anyone to fight. He needs to get back in the rankings, sadly, because he has a long journey, which he was already one of the best American hopes that we had. You know what I mean? Jarrell Millers, he's too big. He needs to lose weight. And Jared Anderson needs to stay out of the clink. Okay, so you know what I mean? Who else is there? Frank Sanchez, well, he's taking on I Get Caballero. So all these guys are pairing up, but they know they're pairing up for a particular reason. Uh, Michael Hunter, unfortunately, you don't have that reward of beating him if you can. That's if you won't get whooped. Because Michael Hunter will come out there and bat, 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 bat. You know what I mean? <clears throat> give you the shoe shine, beat you down, and give you the absolute business. You know? Make his check and then go out of town. Bars. <laughs> but yeah, I do agree with Tony Bell. You, you guys tell me what you think of him claiming that Michael Bounty Hunter is the most avoided heavyweight on the scene or in boxing. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.